This is my buddy Alex's NA Miata. He loves this car, but he cannot stand the ride quality. And the number one reason is right here. These cheap coilovers aren't cutting it. So we're replacing them with a set from Flying Miata. And look at these things, man, they are beautiful. So first things first, we had to get these prepped. We put the bushings on the top, tighten those nuts down, got the car on jack stands, and now we're ready to get this thing apart. So we're gonna get the axle out. Had to remove that axle nut, and then we're getting the brakes out of the way, starting with the caliper and then the rotor. Now we can remove the top bolt from the upright. This will let us swing the upright down with a little bit of help from a screwdriver to knock this bolt out. Then we're able to push the axle out of the upright and pull that upright down. Just like that, it's apart. Here we're getting some help from the Ugga Dugga to remove the coilover, get that bottom bolt out, and then we can reach into the trunk to remove these two nuts on the top. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but not the worst thing in the world. Just like that, the nuts are out. We can pull the coilover out. And you can see Alex is ready to trash this thing entirely. And just look at the difference in overall spring length. You also have the helper spring on the new coilover. Everything about this new coilover is just a much improved design over the old one. So we get it lined up in a place. Alex starts the top two nuts. And once those are started, we can begin to assemble the suspension again. With everything in place, then we can begin setting our spring height first by hand and then using this adjustable wrench. This spanner helps us spin the bottom and get us close to Flying Miata's recommendation of five inches between the bottom of these rings and the center of the bottom bolt that goes through the coilover. Just like that, good to go. And if you look here, you can see this damping adjuster. It's just one way adjustable, but hey, that's still pretty nice to be able to adjust your damping. Now we can begin getting the axle back into place. Slide it through right there once we get some good grease on it. And finally rotate the upright to the top of that control arm and get the bolt through it, fasten it back into place. Again, Ugga Dugga helping us out, hell yeah. Then we're gonna get this axle nut back on Give it a little bit of a crank, good to go. Ready for brake parts to go back on. First the rotor, then the caliper. Get those bolts tight in the back. Then we're set. And look at that, oh my gosh, it's stunning looking. And we did the same thing on the right side of the rear. Same process, we won't show you again, but there's that five inches I was mentioning. We then moved to the front suspension, which I originally thought would be easier because we didn't have to deal with the drive axle. But as you'll see in a little bit, we actually had quite a struggle of getting the new coilover in. So we're getting it all prepped after we get the old one out, pretty straightforward. But then we had to remove the nut from the upper ball joint in order to move that upright down as far as we could. With it down and out of the way, we're then ready to get this new coilover in. Plenty of room now. So same as the rear, we start those top nuts just to get it lined up. And then we're gonna put that ball joint back through the top of the upright, get it into place. Now we're tapping our bolts in for the coilover. Finally brakes back on. And look at that, it looks beautiful. We are very happy with the way this new kit not only looks, but especially the way it handles. We've gone through adjusting some of the different damping settings and, and so far we've been leaving it on the softer of the settings, which I believe they call sport, but it feels really nice. It's extremely responsive. It rides so much better than the old ones. And overall, we're happy with it. It makes this car handle a hell of a lot better than it did with that old set. I don't know what that set even was, but yeah, it's junk. And it only got worse over time. Little spring test, you can see it moving. We're gonna do the same on the rear. Thank you, Alex, for volunteering. <laughs> but yeah, she's good to go. All in all, we highly recommend this kit. Easy enough to install. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.